All right. So I think we are good to go. So, all right. Beth, is that your screen? Are you seeing some eagles? Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, do you see the LifeSmarts homepage? Yay. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Well, thank you, everyone, for joining the call. Um, my name is Seth Woods. I am the Outreach Coordinator with Life Smarts, uh, Project of the National Consumers League, and I am here with Lisa Hertzberg. Lisa, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Oh, sure. Hello, everyone. Um, this is Lisa Hertzberg. I'm the Program Director for the Life Smarts Program, and want to welcome you to today's webinar. We're excited to have all of you join us. And uh, this is a fairly small group of people. So if anybody has any questions at any time, please feel free to interrupt us. Both Lisa and I have been working uh, on getting this website put together uh, for several months now. So we pretty much know a lot of the issues. And again, thank all of you for being so patient and uh, in your interest in getting started with this program. Uh, if you've been with us before, uh, you'll see that we have a new website this year. A uh, completely different new platform. We uh, took some of the uh, issues from the previous one, for example, uh, registering codes, coach codes, so many codes. Registration used to be about a 20-stage process, and now we've got it down to three. So today we were hoping to kind of just go over some basics of the LifeSmarts webpage and to show everybody the various parts uh, to get started in the competition. So I'll just do a very basic overview of the website. And again, if you have questions, feel free to interrupt at any time. Um, at the very top of the page, you'll see this gray bar has login and register. This will stay on the page uh, on any page you visit on the website. This will stay up at the top. And it's how everybody will log into the, uh, to the competition. Coaches, students, even coordinators will log in from this point. So uh, it's where everything begins and ends. Next, I'd like to show you a search bar, which is uh, something new that we uh, have uh, heard that uh, people wanted to have. So now if you don't want to see, you know, sifting through to find a specific lesson on a specific topic, say, for example, you want to talk about credit or something like that, you can just type in credit and it'll show you all the materials that we have. We also uh, are on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. I encourage you to follow us, like us, and to uh, visit our YouTube page. We have a lot of great videos on there including uh, some videos on how to get started with the competition, which you can see right here on this smaller bar. It has most of our basic information. Uh, the one that you'll want to see uh, if you're wanting to get started with the competition is right here, getting started, and the contact button. If you have any issues with the program uh, or, or the website, you can get in touch with us on that page. Um, those uh, web forms that are sent in are sent directly to Lisa and to our coworker Rashad, uh, who's out sick today. But uh, when he gets back in the office Monday, I'm certain he'll be able to help you out. Usually we get in touch with those uh, about 24, 48 hours uh, at least when they get in. So yeah, you're not getting them shipped off to uh, someone who's not gonna read them. The uh, main part of the Life Smarts page that you'll be running into is this gray bar here. It's kind of our home bar, and you'll see it on all of the pages. So this is where the players will go, coaches, coordinators, and resources. This is a great uh, page if you're looking for educational materials, um, for uh, and these are continually updated. If you've been here uh, in the last 24 hours, we've already uploaded the Consumer Action Handbook Scavenger Hunt. Uh, which is a great activity that you can use in a classroom or as an extracurricular activity. We have a few other things on here. When you get a chance, I encourage you to come look through all of that. If you see at the bottom of the page, and we have been uh, discussing this in quite a few other places as well, as you can see it's one of our main boxes, uh, is the Safety Smart Ambassador Program. Lisa, do you want to say something about that? Sure. Um, this is a new collaboration that we have with Underwriters Laboratories. Uh, we started last year with a pilot group. Some of our teams coming to Nationals helped us out. 
um, there's a team from Minnesota on the picture on this page. They did presentations um, with younger students, um, elementary or even, you know, four and five year olds who might be in a daycare setting. And the program is really a way for students to give back in their communities. So, um, you know, to meet needs that they might have to do community service or do special projects while in high school. Um, it's completely free. Uh, UL has given us videos to distribute. Um, normally you would pay for those, but um, if you get them through us, they're free or you can stream them online so you have access to them immediately. We have put together 30-minute lesson plans. Um, they're very scripted for students. We encourage them to start with those and then they can add to those, um, add some of the other materials that UL produces as they feel comfortable with it. But we've tried to make um, at least entry into the program quite accessible and very easy to do. So I really encourage you to do um, something with Safety Smart if you have a need for community service in your school. And I will say too, um, we do have some incentives built in with the program. We have um, very nice $100 um, gift cards that go out each month. That's a random drawing for um, anyone who's entered that month by doing a presentation and letting us know about it. And then at our national event in April, we'll also be awarding four $750 scholarships. So, um, you know, that hopefully is of interest. And um, the deadline for that actually was going to be at the end of January, but we've extended that into April. So um, I'd really encourage you to take a look at that if that's something of interest. Thank you. Um, does anybody have any questions? Okay. Um, again, I would greatly encourage you guys to get involved with this. Um, it's a great way to uh, get your students involved in service projects, and it's really simple. Again, as Lisa mentioned, here are all the materials that you'll need, uh, and including the uh, order form and the assessment that you'll turn in to uh, to be eligible for those prizes. So, um, I just went backwards, but I'm going to go back just by clicking on the home page here uh, and it'll take you right back and you can see our slider. These are the things that we've been talking about that are important, including our Consumer Man podcast. Um, it's also found in the resources section, but uh, every month, NBC Consumer Reporter, uh, Herb Weisbaum, he's with the Today Show. He puts together short five, 10 minute videos and uh, we post those on YouTube and we also include lesson plans and activities that you can use with those uh with those videos it's great uh in the classroom or as an extracurricular activity and i can tell you that some of the questions in the upcoming competitions will be based on the consumer man podcast so i certainly encourage you to uh, try those out if you have the time um yes Seth, i would just add the scholarship scams went up just today so that's brand new and if you're looking for vocabulary to pick up either you know studying with life smarts or any of the topics that the podcast have covered each lesson does include a list of vocabulary so it's a great starting point thank you very much um let's see um the other things that we wanted to mention on the home page you can always find out about your state program by uh, going to this page. There's another way you can see what's going on and that's with the online competitions map. And I'll show you that. You just click on that and it'll show you a US map. And you'll see that most of the country is currently colored green, but there are some that have uh, different colors. So the ones in green mean that the competition closes next month or after that. The yellow means that the competition closes this month and the red means that the competition closes this week. As you can see, Missouri is closing today. Uh, the ones in blue have already closed. So if you're in one of these states, unfortunately, uh, it's time to start preparing for next year. So, um, but you can click on each state. It will give you a little bit more specific information. So for example, I've clicked on Massachusetts here and it provides more specific information about that program uh, and even some information about the coordinators in that state and how you can get involved uh, at that level. All right, so we're back at the home page. Again, you can just click on the logo or the home button and it'll take you back there. And I think this is the one that most people are wanting to know about and that is joining the competition and getting started. So you can do that by clicking here uh, and it's always available up here in the getting started corner. So you can, uh, and it, it'll always be available there. We have quick guides to get started on the various events, and the uh, we've put together YouTube videos 
uh, on how to register for each competitive event. And so you can click on those and follow those along at your own uh, at your own pace. So that's the uh, the basics behind that. And now we're going to actually go through the steps of registering. Um, if anybody has any questions. All right, I'm going to take silence to be a cent. Um, so whenever you have an account, you can just click on login and it'll take you back to your account to register. Or I'm sorry, to log in, but we'll first have to register. The first process will have to be that the coach registers uh, before the player does. Or, sorry, yeah. Okay. And so it's very basic information um, that you can use. It takes, you know, very little time to actually get all of this in. I'm going to do it right here. Um, we also ask for specific information. Again, we don't use this for personal issues like age, grade, ethnicity, gender. We use it in aggregate for uh, our sponsors and stuff who are asking, you know, how many of your students, you know, are male? How many of them are, you know, 17, 18? What are the major issues and how they're doing? So we, we collect that information, but we don't use it uh, for uh, personal information. All right. And we always have a CAPTCHA as well, just to make sure that uh, we spammers don't come through. So once you click that, you uh, will be able to register. And you'll see at the very top, it says we have sent you a verification link to your email. Please complete your registration by clicking the link. And so uh, this is an issue that a lot of people run into, uh, is that they never get the email in their, uh, in their inbox. So this is from a previous one, but the uh, email's already saved in there. And so this is what it's going to show you when you log in. It's a very basic email. Uh, again, it's put together by the web machine, uh, but it will have the coach test. Uh, it'll have the username, email, and password. And then you'll click on the verification email to log in. And I have a feeling that since the email's already been activated, uh, for yesterday's, that's what you're going to see. But you'll get a quick link, and it'll tell you to log in with the new password. If you don't get this, or if you don't click the activation fee, uh, the uh, sorry, I've been writing questions about credit cards and activation fees. If you don't click the activation link, uh, then you'll end up with something like this. And the computer will tell you that it's not been activated. If uh, if you can't find it in your spam folder, uh, we can activate it, but we won't have access to the actual password. We'll only have access to your username. And of course, you can get that by clicking on the feedback the contact button, and that sends it directly to us. The other thing you can do, uh, if you've already activated but lose your password, all you have to do is type in your username or email address, and it will send you to that page. So let's go ahead. I'm going to type in the password I used yesterday. Well, if I can remember it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and update. Let me make sure I haven't. I've already used this as an example. Let me pull up the inbox. That's ironically, it looks like your password is the word password. Yeah, uh, it was until I changed it uh, as an example, and now the uh, inbox is not wanting to pop up. I'm afraid I may have lost my internet connection. Do you all, can you see the inbox uh, that's currently on my screen? I do, Seth. I'm looking at your um, squirrel mail. 
Okay. <laughs> uh, isn't that how it goes? All right. Well, I'm, I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, let's see if we can. Is it the Lisa H? Two H's. Okay. And what's the uh, the password again? Coach test. Thank you, Lisa. So that's what happens when you get a successful login, and it takes you immediately to the coach's page. And so uh, you'll see four parts of the coach uh, page that's specific to coaches. If a player tried to click on coaches, they wouldn't see this. So uh, the first one is edit coach details, which is the information that we put in earlier. Next is the my teams page, uh, which if you don't have a team, you'll have to create one first. And that's what we're going to do here. So you'll click on create new team. You'll type in the team name. And uh, we encourage you to be as specific as possible when you put together these team names. That way, uh, coordinators who are selecting teams to qualify for the state competition know exactly who you're deal uh, who they're dealing with. Uh, you can create as many teams as you like. You can have as many or as few students as long as you have a minimum of four on each team. Um, so you uh, you can start with that. Then you'll need to select the team type. There are the there are five types of teams that you can create in Life Smarts, and you can create any or all different types. Uh, there are the two main ones, the JV and the varsity teams. JV, junior varsity, is for uh, students in grades 6 through 8. Varsity is for high schoolers in grades 9 through 12. Um, we also have separate uh, FCCLA and FBLA-sponsored programs. The uh, FCCLA and FBLA programs are just like the varsity one. Uh, you'll be eligible to compete for the state competition and qualify for the national tournament in Orlando. Um, these are separate for the FBLA and FCCLA Team Smarts challenges. Uh, each month, uh, they have a 100 question Team Smarts test. The winning chapter in each club will receive $100 for their chapter, and the highest scoring team on the FBLA and FCCLA challenges this month will receive $2,500 to represent their respective organization at our tournament uh, in Orlando in April. So you can pick one of those if you're with FCCLA or FBLA. This last one here is FBLA NLC. It's for uh, FBLA's competitive event. We're proud to say that we're a new competitive event with FBLA this year. So this one is slightly different from all the other ones because it does not involve uh, teams of four and qualifying for state tournaments. This is all done entirely online and the top 12 teams nationwide will be invited automatically to the FBLA National Leadership Conference, that's the NLC part, uh, in Nashville this summer. And so it's not part of LifeSmarts, but it uses the LifeSmarts platform. Then you'll just type in the name of the school or organization that you're representing and hit Submit. And it says success team created Life Smarts High School. You can click here to create another team. Uh, I'm not going to since I've only needed to create one team. Uh, but you can create as many or as few as you like. To get back to uh, see what your teams are, just hit the coaches button. And that will take you back to the coaches page. So now you can click on the my teams page. And you can see all the teams that have been put together. And so we've created several tests here. You can see Life Smarts High School. Um, so we'll put that on here and it'll show the coach state, all the examples. And if there were players on this team, uh, this is where they would get, where they would show up again, a coach needs to create an account first so they can create the team. Then the players will create their accounts to join the team. Um, it'll also show the quizzes that are available for that team, uh, over here. And if you need to edit the team name, here's where you can do that. Do we have any questions about registering as a coach or creating a team? Um, yes. Um, I'm from Newton County, Georgia, and I was wondering, um, you said that the JV and varsity teams 
what are the requirements for the different ones, and how do you figure out which ones you are? Um, it's all based uh, on the grade level of the student. So if the student is in grades 6 through 8, they'll be eligible for the JV competition. If they're in grades 9 through 12, they're eligible for the varsity. And that's a great question because in a lot of states, including Georgia, um, there's not an in-person competition for junior varsity. So the chapter or the club with the highest score, the highest team score, will uh, automatically be called uh, the state champions in junior varsity. Uh, I think they get recognized on our website, and we send them T-shirts as well, don't we, Lisa? Right. Yep, exactly. Yes. Yeah, so uh, JV are still able to uh, to use the website and to participate in the competition, but we do ask, the questions are a little bit easier. We don't have the, uh, the difficult questions added to the JV test, and uh, we also tend to avoid uh, less, uh, how do I put them, teen-friendly or... Uh, uh, preteen friendly, so issues like mental health, sexual health, things like that, tend uh, not to show up in the uh, JV competitions. Alrighty, thank you. Oh no problem, thank you. Uh, and if anybody has any other questions, you know, feel free to step in at any time. Uh, I'm tending to go fairly fast, but I want to make sure that we have you guys uh, out of here by uh, within the hour. So anyway, so you have the team here with all the information, um, you should be able to see all your players and the various teams in the team detail. Uh, once you're finished here, or if a player decides to log in, they can do that here. All they have to do is click log out. Make sure that you log out from your account before another user comes in and uses it, uh, because if they try to log in while your information is still in the, uh, in the computer, the system may get confused and think that you're trying to do something uh, that you're not authorized to do. All right, and so, um, oh, right, I was going to show you the players section as well. They log in and register in the very same spot, so you'll click the registration page, and you'll click through all of this, put in the information, register with LifeSmarts, and then you'll go through the confirmation email process again. Double check your spam fol folder and make sure that the player spam folders uh, don't have the confirmation link. Once they're ready to log in, I think we're just going to go ahead and use yours again. So we'll log in with the player test. And it says log in successful and it takes you to the player section. It's a lot like the coach's corner, except it's a little different. So you'll see the edit player details. So if you can, uh, if a student needs to update the information, they can do that there. Uh, they can join a team here. Uh, this one has already joined a team, but it'll say join a team. And it will show a list of all of the uh, teams registered in that state. So you'll need to make sure that your player joins the team that they uh, that they were meant to join. Uh, once they've joined that team, just to show you what that shows you, who the coach is, what state, what type they are, and the other players that are on that team, the quiz is available. Um, this is where the players are going to take the test. It's under the My Quizzes page. And... I believe, yeah, this is an F FBLA NLC team, but it'll show you the Team Smarts quizzes that they can take. Uh, every student is eligible to take the Team Smarts August practice test. That score isn't kept, but they can still see the uh, the questions and get a, an example of that. Your team captain, when it uh, comes time to start taking the tests, uh, the, those Team Smarts tests that they're eligible for, for example, the January test this month uh, is environment, and also the FBLA, FCCLA challenges. You would see that uh, in this section. The next one is the competition quizzes. Um, this is where you would see the five category quizzes. Life Smarts has five main categories, personal finance, the environment, health and safety, consumer rights and responsibilities, and technology. And uh, this is a little different than what we've done in the past. In the past, you've had to uh, go through three rounds of competition, 20 questions, uh, all in a random category, random difficulty. And we noticed that some people tended to get by a little bit easier than others. So this year, we've changed it up. Uh, and so everyone has to answer 20 questions in each of the five categories. And the uh, questions have been weighted for difficulty. So we take those, and this is where they would be able to click for that. If there are other assigned quizzes that might be available, uh, this is where they would do that. And I believe in the states where we do not have coordinators or the coordinators have chosen not to do an in-person competition, this is where you would find the state final Team Smarts test. 
Uh, so, and that would be used to determine the state champion when there is not an in-person competition. So, uh, are there any questions about students, players joining a team uh, and being able to access the quizzes? So, the com I have a question about the competition quizzes. Yes. They will show up on the, on the player team page. Yes. And to qualify for the state competition, yes. they, do the, they do five quizzes in the competition area. Yes. And yes, and so uh, those five quiz scores will be combined to form that player's individual score. So if they get, you know, a 17 on the first one and a 20 on the second and a 15, so on and so forth, the combined score would be, you know, for example, an 85 out of 100. And once you've had four players finish the five competition quizzes, your team will then have a score. Uh, and those are averaged between the, uh, the top four players. So if you have one student that gets a 90, the next gets an 85, the next gets an 85, and the fourth one gets an 80, then your team's average score, uh, your team score would be 85. And teams that have finished uh, in the top, based on those scores, will be invited to the state competitions. And it would be, if some states do not have the face-to-face, -face, it would be the, the online. Exactly. And in those cases, we would invite every team uh, that has finished, that has qualified. So, uh, you know, in some states, for example, Pennsylvania, where we could have 20 or 30 teams qualify, they'll all take the Team Smarts test. In some states where we don't have as many, uh, you know, like Alaska, then, you know, the one or two teams that finish there would then just take the test. Okay, so all teams will take the yeah, exactly. Unless you're in a state that has an in-person competition, and then you would get an email from the coordinator letting you know the details, the logistics of that in-person event. Okay, thank you. Oh, no problem. Lisa, is there anything else you want to add to that? No, thanks, Seth. All right. Um, oh, the other thing I wanted to mention was the practice quiz. Um, these are always available for any student. I think it's even available in the Coach's Corner. And it's a 20-question quiz random uh, categories that you can use. Um, you just click start quiz and it'll uh, get you started. We also have the daily quiz which is available even if you're not registered to uh, to compete or signed up. Uh, that's available on the home page. It's only five questions uh, but we have those available as well. So that's the, uh, the home page. Let's see if there's anything else that I forgot to mention. Lisa, is there anything else you'd like to bring up? Um, Seth, I think we should mention um, making sure that you have a team captain. Oh, right. Thank you very much for mentioning that. So I'm going to go ahead and log out really quickly because, again, uh, only team captains will be able to access the Team Smarts tests on behalf of their team. Seth, do you want to use a different um, registration that I have? Yeah, do you have one? I do. Um, FBLA test. One, and it's the username and the password. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, it's all caps, sorry. Oh. For both. I don't know if it matters. Oh, it didn't matter, good. <laughs> so it doesn't matter on the username, but it does on the password. So remember that. Yep. All right. So, wait, this is the player. Oh, okay. So you were wanting to see the uh, FBLA... TS test. Yeah, if you go to my quizzes, this person is a captain. Okay. So you'll click on that. And you can see here are the competition quizzes. And here are the uh, Team Smarts and FBLA challenges uh, available as well. So thank you very much, Lisa, for showing that. I don't know why my internet's been so wonky today, but thank you. Um, I'll go and show you. This is what a team captain would see. But in order to pick a team captain, the coach has to log back in and select a person from that team. Is it two H's for your coach one? It is. All right. So, and it'll take me back to the coach's corner. Um, then you can see under my teams page, you'll just click on the team that you want to work with. 
And at the very bottom, it'll say Manage Team Captain. And a list of the players that have joined that team. So far, none have joined this team. But on yours, when they have joined, then you'll pick that player. And then you'll just hit Update Team Captain. And it will update it. And that's what you'll see in the in the uh, player section. That, that player will see the, uh, the extra Team Smarts tests. All right, so are there any other questions that someone might have about registering either as a player or as a coach? Okay. Um, again, I have a question about checking the, their scores. Is there a place on the website where you can check how your team has done? Yeah, Lisa, do you want to you know a little more about this? Sure. Um, it's been slow to get back on the site, um, so it's coming, um, and I think it's going to be up by next week. Our web guy told me by Thursday next week, so that's really specific. I hope that that's accurate. Um, he has been working on it, but it's been involved, so um, it's coming. What I've been telling people uh, who have contacted us is if you want to see your team scores so far or in progress, just to send us an email through that feedback or contact form. And we have access to that, and we can send you out your team scores. And I've done it for some coaches several times, especially, you know, as their state competitions online might have been closing. So feel free to contact us if you want to see that in the meantime. Thank you. Sure, yeah. you're welcome. I know that's a process that we've been working on for quite some time, trying to get that sorted out. I know it's a feature that we've had before, and we hope to have it again soon. So thanks for your patience. Are there any other questions? All right. Um, well, I think we've pretty much covered most of the features on the LifeSmarts homepage. Again, uh, you're free to, it doesn't cost anything to sign up and participate. All of our resources are available for free. Um, all we ask is that if you use our program, uh, that you don't claim that you invented it yourself. <laughs> um, so are there any other questions? Lisa, I had a question. Sure. If our state competition has already closed and um, we've been notified by the coordinator that anybody who had at least four players on their team complete that qualifying quizzes, they're automatically going to be eligible for what's called the regional team smart. Okay, yes. That will determine who goes to state. When are we going to be notified about that regional team smart? And is that coming from you or the coordinator? Yep, it'll come probably from both of us. Um, it will start on Monday. I assume you're talking about Kansas. That's correct. Okay, yep, Kansas will open on Monday. So um, you'll have an email. You'll definitely have an email from me. Um, and I'm guessing Angela will get an email out to people as well. Um, but we will provide that information to you on Monday. And then it will stay open through the following Monday. So the, the window of time is one week? Yes, yep. Okay, thank you. Sure, you're welcome. I got an email and it was different dates and I'm in Kansas. Yep, yep. This is an update. Um, so it's not going to finish like the 27th or something like that, 28th. It's going to go all the way to... Right, the following Monday, is that the 3rd? Hmm. I had not gotten any email. Other than just that I, both of my teams had completed the qualifying quizzes. Okay. Yep. You will definitely hear from us. I have that list from Angela, and that will start. That will open on Monday, the 27th, and it will remain open through the 3rd. Okay. Thank you very much. When our captain goes in and logs in, the quizzes that we're supposed to take will be there? Yep. It'll be one quiz. It will be a state team smarts quiz. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're right, and that will go to your captain. Yeah, Team Smarts is a uh, hundred questions. Uh, usually, it takes somewhere between thirty to sixty minutes. I think there's a sixty-minute time limit on that. Um, Again, we've been using this for several years now, uh, and fortunately this time, we don't have to remember all the other access codes and creating Team Smarts teams. That's a feature that we've updated this year, and it's a, a lot easier to use 
Uh, I know it seems like the dates have been thrown around a little differently for some states, but overall it's been a, a big success. If the team smart has to fill time, they get more points the quicker they go with the correct answers? Um, um, this year there's an overall time, and the points are not gauged to the time. The points are not gauged to the time? No. Okay. However, uh, the so overall time... that amount of time to get all of the questions answered, but each but the points are not differentiated at all. That's correct. I, I do think time will still remain a factor overall. So if a team that takes 15 minutes uh, to finish the test will get more points than a team that takes 45 minutes to finish the test. So there is still a speed factor involved in the, uh, in the scoring. Um, but uh, again, we encourage... Oh, go ahead. There really is not a time factor as you're describing it. Um, I can tell you one time we've had to use it as the tiebreaker oh, okay. for a uh, monthly quiz. So then we looked at the time, and the tiebreaker was the faster finisher. So um, individual questions are not timed as they were in the past. Right. Thank you for clearing that up. Are there any other questions? Um, one more question about the competition quizzes. Yes. Do they need to be all taken at the same time? Uh, or can you, they do, and they can each do them on their own um, when they when they can complete them? Uh, yes, that's true. They can take them one at a time. The only thing is once they start a quiz, they want to finish that one because if they leave it midway, the questions that aren't answered, they'll get zeros. Um, but they can do one at a time just so they finish all of them by the end date of, for your state. Okay, thank you. Sure. All right. Um, if there are there any other questions? All right. I'm going to double check and make sure that nobody has asked anything on the uh, section here. Oh, okay. And we've talked about the regional Team Smarts competition in Kansas. Uh, all right. Well. If there are any other questions at any point during the stage, um, you can always get in touch with us with the contact, the feedback button here. Um, it's a fairly short web form uh, that you can see right there. Uh, and it goes straight to uh, Lisa and Rashad, uh, who are, again, very good at getting back in touch with people fairly quickly, especially now that we know that the uh, state deadlines are coming up. So again, if there's anything else we can do, uh, please do not hesitate to ask. Lisa, do you have uh, any other thoughts? No, I just, uh, the only thing I'll mention, Seth, is that um, our national dates are April 26th to the 29th, and we're going to Disney World in Orlando this year. So um, we'd love if some of you on the phone today join us there. Thank, Thank you, you very much. We're looking forward to it. Um, and it looks like we've wrapped up with time to spare. Okay. Um, again, if anyone has any other questions, we'd be more than happy to uh, take them offline. But again, I want to thank everybody so much for being such a, a great inquisitive audience. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you guys competing in the future. Thank you. Bye-bye.